guys, my name is Guru and this is the first video in this channel. In this channel, you will find technology videos about mobiles, laptops, tablets, etc. In this video, we are going to talk about the newly released iOS 14. Let's get started. With iOS 14, we can add widgets to our home screen. You can add a widget called Smart Stack where Widgets are curated based on the apps you mostly use and will differ automatically based on the time of the day. The new app library organizes all your apps into one folder. It's basically an app drawer. You can also hide the pages you don't mostly use. Calls now will not take up the entire screen while you are working on something. Also, there is a new picture in picture mode where you can continue working on something while watching your favorite shows. There's a new feature called App Clips where you can use part of the app without downloading the app. New features for messages like pin conversations are available where you can pin conversations at the top. A new feature called Mentions is also available. With this feature, your name will be highlighted whenever your name is mentioned in the group chat. You will also customize the group that you will get notifications only when your name is mentioned. There's a new feature called Inline Replies where you can reply only to a specific conversation. There are some new features for maps like cycling and EV routing. EV routing means that you can see the upcoming charging station for electric cars while you're traveling. Siri also got some major changes. It now got a compact design where it will only take up a small portion of the screen. Siri now has 20 times more facts than 3 years ago. There is also a new translate app for translation which supports only a dozen languages for now. AirPods also got some new features like surround sound. But surround sound is only available for AirPods Pro and automatic switching where you can seamlessly switch from iPad to iPhone to Mac to Apple TV is also available. So there you have it guys. These were the new features announced for iOS in WWDC 2020. I'll also post a video on iPad OS so please subscribe if you don't want to miss that. If you like this video, please click the like button and I'll meet you guys in the next video. Thank you.